Um, before joining Battle Beast, what did you listen to and sang the most? What were your reference? Janis Joplin, one of them. Yes, um, she's uh, she's the she's the number one. <laughs> Janis Joplin was the reason I actually I got uh, I got the call from Battle Beast because uh, Battle Beast found me through YouTube. Uh, singing Janis Joplin, Peace of My Heart, which one you can find from my solo album, actually. I did uh, my own version of this Peace of My Heart. Go go and listen to it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, and of course, ACDC, um, Led Zeppelin, uh, very much a rock classic music, but also my background as a singer is very wide in genre-wise. Like, I have done soul jazz pop uh, you name it almost everything not rap but everything else like uh, my first idol ever uh, was whitney houston because when i heard her singing i will always love you with that big soulful voice i was like i want to be like that i want to i want to sing as as soulful and big as she does and that's how my journey began uh, when I was on fifth grade, I, I started to kind of, I have always Im been imitating uh, my idols, trying to imitate. And that's how I learned originally to sing, that I just imitated and tried to do the same things as my idols. This is why I always say, because I also teach singing and performing to people that don't be afraid of imitating first. Uh, of your idols it's not like you would change into the <laughs> other person but mm -hmm. you will uh, find different tools to use your voice and then you can do your own thing great how how is your vocal preparation do you warm up before the stage the show in tours yes uh nowadays more than ever because of the i got the cardioid rupture in last October so the vein got ruptured here and you, there is nothing because you can't see it of course it was inner um, <laughs> thing but, but it was it was really bad like uh, it was worse than I could actually uh, I wanted to accept it like uh, and I and this was also something that um, that I uh, kind of, I got really uh, scared, like uh, when I heard that it was, it, it had ruptured, uh, but it, it didn't leak anymore, but there was like a clutter of blood. So what could have happened would, would have been the ultimate thing, or uh, I could have had a stroke or, and, and I wouldn't be singing anymore. So that was like a, really a wake up call for me. Um, I have been trying to uh, live very healthy, but now it's like leveled up even more. Like uh, I really take care of my warm up, warm down, my nutri nutrition, you know, like what I eat, what I do. I don't, you know, like it's, but I think it, this is something that I really love to do, like uh, having, myself as like a, like a guinea pig for for testing how my body works in different ways when I do something and and this is also that you know I have really big goals for myself as an artist and for battle beast and I just want to be as best as possible in in what I do and this this demands that I need to take care of myself in a, in any way possible, but also I need to enjoy life. And yeah. this is why I love cooking. I love <laughs> food. <laughs> I love music and I love to dance. And this is why I'm so excited to get to South America because it's, it's the Mecca of Latin dancing. And it's like, I really, when I have a chance, I need to go dancing somewhere <laughs> because oh. this is like a dream come true. <laughs> Good. Hey, how do you create your looks and customs? Does each album give you give you a different thematic inspiration? 
Yes, I always, uh, I get really, uh, like, uh, the, the whole process starts, uh, even before the album starts because i'm always like i tr i need i try to be ahead of things but also it starts like by with uh different visions that i get and i start uh um, drawing them and then i start this uh, process with my dressmaker who draws as well and we share our ideas and uh, watch uh, uh, look out for some different materials and then now that we have like a few songs already written i get more inspired and i get more like uh, kind of these visions that i want to have a certain elements in the in the look and then uh yeah and then also i have a I have a horn team <laughs> that we designed the new new uh, accessories and and my horns and things like that, and and also it's all combined together with the with the dressmaking and and then my guys have the same dressmaker so so we combine everything in the end. But this this whole process it uh, it's it's it it's just like making an album. It's like sculpturing all the yeah. time and i have uh, uh several fittings and it's like the the whole look is my other skin it's not just a, you know a working uniform but it's actually the it's me who who is on the stage so it's 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 very important to get it 100 percent right and and this is also the creative process that i love i have mm -hmm. since i was a little kid I I wanted to become like a like a you know dress designer uh, and now it's possible with my with my band that I can actually I can design my own clothing with my dressmaker with my horn team and and uh, I can express my create creativity through that as well and and it takes as long uh, usually I try to um, have the schedules the way that when we have the album done and the, we have to take the uh, you know the press uh, promotional material mm -hmm. then this uh the whole process is done by that and this means like it takes about an a, a year or a year and a half so 